but Rhyme Time shot through, grabbed the lead away from DeVillain, and Rhyme Time races clear for KWT and defeats DeVillain in next third, followed by Bell Rocco's Bay, and Northern Dragon dropped out to finish up the tail. Well, my family sort of there was a family breakdown, um, and then long story short, we, we become basically homeless. I was sort of living uh, mate's house to mate's house, couch to couch. Um, you know, just, just wasn't living the best life, um, and you know, I could have kept going down that road, and it would have ended. It put me in a bad place, I think. So, um, you know, chasing the dream that I did have um, has paid off. The time that I have been here in Queensland has been has been quite good. Um, it's probably been better than what I expected it to be. Uh, I've always believed in my ability, but um, you know, uh, the early success that I have had has been. Uh, Quite a bit, a bit of a shock, and um, but that comes down to great opportunity and support. I was born, bred, and raised in Victoria, um, and you know a few things in my life weren't right. My personal life, and uh, I didn't get accepted into the apprentice program down there uh, two years in a row. Um, I wasn't up to their standard. I wasn't ready to race ride um, at that stage. So, um, like I said, a few things in my family life weren't weren't 100 percent. So then I moved up to the Northern Rivers in New South Wales, um, and I knew it was easier to become an apprentice in New South Wales. So. That's what I did, um, and I, you know, I started well there. Um, had a couple of injuries, and then uh, once I'd been enough winners, and I thought I was going well enough, my manager sort of helped me move up here. A lot of things in my personal life were quite bad, so um, oh, I didn't really have any option. Um, it was either really become a jockey and, and chase that, or I, did, I don't know where I would have ended up. Or, or you know, I could have been just on the streets or anywhere. So um, you know, it's something I love and. Um, I believe things don't come easy that are worth it, so you've got to chase them and um, you know I've worked very hard and it's been worthwhile, so um, yeah I'm just thankful for all the support I'm getting at the moment. So I've been getting my Metropolitan Licence which is uh, very good and it's something I've worked hard for and it's something I've dreamt for since I was a little boy, so um, you know, so hopefully in the next few weeks we can kick off in the Metropolitan area, um, you know, we're not going to get ahead of ourselves by any means. We're, to just take it slow, but um, no, no, it's for something to look forward to anyway. Kyle Wilson Taylor looks to be an exciting young jockey. Um, I've watched him ride a lot of winners recently at the provincials. Um, I've spoken to him a couple of times. He's really well spoken. I think he's got a lot to offer uh, to our uh, three kilo city riding ranks. Absolutely. Um, obviously, it's. I think he's proven that to everyone. So now it's about him keeping a lid on things, staying really professional um, and striving to learn as much as he can in the next sort of 12 months to cement himself, you know, as a, as a great young rider here in Brisbane. Oh, that, and that's a credit to my boss, Lindsay Hatch. You know, he, um, you know, obviously I'd love to be riding in town and everything else and it's great, but you know, a lot of apprentices make the mistake of going too early um, and that's something I don't want to do. I, I, I think I am ready now, um, but, there's always room for improvement and the, and the longer I wait, uh, the better I'll be and my boss has made me see that. So. Yeah, it's a, uh, pro he's, you know, he's a proven, proven recipe. He, um, you know, he obviously with Bailey Nodif, um, he's, had, he's had a lot of good apprentices. Um, but he, he's, good, he's a good boss for me because you know, sometimes I get a bit ahead of myself and he, he pulls me into line and uh, yeah, he, doesn't, he definitely doesn't let me get ahead of myself at all. Um, you know, I get the clip over the year when I need it, but I also get the encouragement when I need it also, so no, he's very good.